Hi, I'm Paul Stevens with Cottage Craft Works, and today we want to talk about uh, unpacking your new mascot mower, adjusting it and assembling it, and some cleaning and safety tips with it. So we have it. We'll gently open the, the box. The uh, shop will have already opened this and adjust and sharpen everything so it should be good to go but we'll see. Okay this is the 21 Deluxe model. We have our owner's manual. We have our handles and we'll set those aside for a moment. Take our cardboard out. Now you'll notice that there may be some oil um, over the blades and the equipment. That's okay. This is a real mower. It's basically had oil uh, and grease and traveled in some hot trucks. So it's not uncommon to have that. Oil on a real mower, as we'll discuss in a little bit, is a good thing. So we'll just take this out of the box. The blades are very sharp, so you have to be careful. We're going to set it over here on the bench. And then we're going to just flip it over so we can show you how this bed knife works. Okay, so before we demonstrate this, I want to, I want to show you how the principles of a real mower works. It's like a big pair of scissors that cuts your grass instead of having a rotary blade that spins. So we'll show you on an old fashioned paper cutter. See how that cuts that paper? Okay, now if I held that blade away just a little bit, see what happens okay so the number one problem people have with the real mowers is they'll get this out of the box and they'll they'll hear it rubbing against the bed knife and then they'll start adjusting it it should not need to be adjusted but the ultimate test is the paper test and you want to see that this cuts Just like that paper cutter, all the way across. Keep your fingers and knuckles because this is very sharp. So this one is adjusted perfectly. And it's going to sound like if you do need to adjust it, you adjust using a 916 cents wrench on these trunnions. To bring the blade closer, you would adjust clockwise to take it away from the blade to give you more space, you would go counterclockwise. Now we have this upside down. So my clockwise is going to be counterclockwise on each side. The other key is to adjust on either side the same distance and you only do little incremental changes. The number two problem people have with the real mower is that they'll adjust this one side and then they'll come over and get distracted maybe with the kids coming through or just forget and they'll start adjusting this in the opposite direction. So what happens then is this, this blade starts in at an angle and when that happens it starts uneven wear and they call that coning because these blades have to touch perfectly all the way across this, this cutter. So we have this mower upside down because you can tell the rollers are right here. So if I turn the mower upright, and again, the blades are very, very sharp. So keep your fingers away from those blades. But if I had my mower turned upright, then I would be adjusting these clockwise to bring the blade in close. The other thing I want to show you 
is adjusting the wheel height. We get calls that says, I cannot move this blade. Why can I not move this blade? Well, real mowers operate with a gear on the outside of this wheel and a gear that's on the shaft of the real cage. And it's like a socket wrench or ratchet. So you turn it one way and it spins, and then you turn it the other way, then it locks in. Why not have the wheels just mount on the reel? Well, it's like a car differential. When you turn a corner, or you, you have to have one wheel spinning freely. So that's why it's set up that way. Also, the gearing is, drives the speed of the reel. So if you were hit directly, you would have to be pushing twice or three times as fast to get this reel to cut the grass. So these numbers, the, the mower comes set here between two and three. These numbers is the height adjustment of your wheel. Uh, so one is the lowest and five is going to be the highest. Again, you have to loosen this nut. Loosen the nut and then adjust this to where you want. Make sure it's equal or your mower is going to be mowing at an angle. This gear on the inside of this wheel is meshing with the gear inside. So if your wheel is, is not tight and it starts loosening, then you're going to have uneven wear on those gears and you're going to wear out your gears and your wheels. So that's your adjustment. You have another height adjustment and that's on the roller. Again, watch your fingers. So you have another adjustment here by taking these nuts out and you can adjust your roller down and that will give you more height. So a lot of people ask, well what's the difference between the, the 9 inch and the 10 inch wheel? Some of that was brought about by some marketing about short and then tall bent grasses. The fact of the matter is the difference between a 9 and a 10 inch wheel is you're only touching the ground with a half inch. So you're only making a half inch difference. Now a 10 inch wheel will spin your blade a little faster so there's some benefits in that. But other than that, unless you're just obsessed of having your grass at a certain height, or if you're doing like a golf course grass, then you might want to consider the smaller wheel. The other thing to do in preparing to mow is to police your yard. Real mowers uh, do not do real well with sticks, twigs, and things that are going to get caught in this reel. Uh, this bar because what's going to happen it'll lock your mower up so you kind of have to police your yard. The other thing that will be detrimental to a real mower is a sand and dirt. So up north we have moles, down south we have uh, ground burrowing crawdads that when we get a lot of rain they'll build a crawdad mound up. And those have to be uh, knocked down so you're not dulling your blades. Okay, so this is the 18 inch reel mascot and I'm just going to demonstrate both the 21 and the 18 is the same wheel. So we basically have popped this hubcap off, which you can use just a little screwdriver to pop that off. And then we're going to take this snap ring off. Now I would recommend you do this on concrete driveway or in a garage because the chances of that popping off and getting into grass or gravel and not being found is very high. So you have a little washer right here. And what I want to show you is the wheel assembly, which metal, your outer gear that we were talking about, and then your inner gear right here. So what happens over the season is that grass will get in and work around 
and then start bunching up with uh, any grease or oil you have on here. So at the end of the season, take this apart, brush all that out, clean it up real good, clean your housing up, and then put a light coat of heavy oil or just a real thin coat of grease. We don't want to have a whole lot of grease on here because then it'll cake up with your grass. And then you just put your wheel back in place. <coughs> Make sure you have your washer. So what I have found, the best way to put this on, and even then it's going to be challenging, is to use a stick. And you want to hear that click to where it's in there real good. Then you can put your hubcap back on. And then you're good to go. You do both wheels, of course. So we've already went over the adjustment of the base. Now it's time to put the handle on. Unpack the handle. You're going to have two uh, pieces that go up from the lawnmower attached to the handle. The nameplate. The nameplate's got a cleat on with a hole in it. You've got four bolts and one sheet metal screw. For this, you'll need a 9-16 inch wrench, a half inch socket, and some kind of a spacer to line these holes up, either an awl or a, a Phillips screwdriver. So these go in through here and onto that stud right there. And then I have found it is simpler to put one bolt in through and just put that on loosely. Now you'll notice that there's a hole here and a hole here. Those were for sheet metal screws, but they've added this cleat in here now, so you do not need this hole. And I'll show you how to use this hole in just a minute. Then I have found that it's easier to go ahead and put the top bolt in here and just leave that loose. Okay, then if you notice there's a little notch right in here and that's where that sheet metal screw is going to go. So what we do is bring this around, slide it in because we didn't tighten this up and we bring it down and we can use our awl to line the first hole. And you can twist and turn this just a little bit. To get that one in. And again, we're just going to leave this loose for just a moment. Okay, and then instead of driving the screw in after it's done, you can go ahead and slip that in there now. And then you can hold that as you tighten. Okay, now we have fully assembled our Mascot 21 inch mower. 
The handle's fully assembled. We have everything adjusted. And now we're ready to go. Mo!